A very good evening and welcome to Caps TV. It's coverage of tonight's game between the Edinburgh Capitals and the Nottingham Panthers. We're just about underway in the final game here in Murrayfield. And the Edinburgh Capitals win the opening face-off. Tess Lukovic through to Kozola. Grigors now. Rehards Grigors across to Tess Lukovic. Tess Lukovic will look for the pass back inside to Anderson. Anderson up to Kozola. Kozola returns the pass to Anderson but loses out. And this one will be picked up deep in their own zone by the Panthers. Panthers will have it behind their own goal line. It comes up uh, now through Tittle, out to the corner and up the wing. Chips across, taken away by Baneshkov. Baneshkov cuts it back inside for Anderson. Anderson round the back, looking for options. Tries to dump it off to Kozola. Tetlow once again has the puck, gets this one up to Phillips. Phillips will take this all the way down himself. Phillips still has it, takes the shot into the body of Jordan McLaughlin and Grigors gets the loose puck. This one will head down ice, Boyd chasing, but the Panthers have it and the Capitals now pick up the loose puck through Igor Valiev, Shukanov. Sends it down, trying to find Podzins, but the Panthers will come up the right wing. Petridge throws it inside, and then uh, blocked away by McLaughlin. Chukanov through to Podzins. Podzins drops it for Valiev. Valiev into the zone now, tries to feed Podzins, but there was a block. Out from the back come the Panthers once again. Wintagen takes the shot off the pads of Tyler Poyles and it's been a, an end-to-end -end game so far, Pecker. Yep, yep. Uh, not a lot happening, but as you say, certainly end-to-end -end and the, the Caps have uh, at least been in Nottingham's end twice, at least. Not much happened when they got there, but, no, uh, no, but at least they have been there. <laughs> They've dusted the ice, if nothing else, you know. Face off to the left-hand side of Jordan McLaughlin. And it'll be won by the Caps. Grigors sends this one out wide to Anderson. Anderson just chips this one in as he uh, receives the hit off up against the boards. And the Panthers come in. It comes in now. Mushantev picks up the puck behind the net. Takes a shot. The year post saved by Jordan McLaughlin. And the Caps managed to clear to the corner. Mushantev once again behind the goal line. He'll look to use that big size of his. Sends it down to Brown. Brown for that good pass in front, but nothing really coming of it. And the Panthers will gain possession behind the net of Michael Garrett. Garnet, sorry. Who centralised comes Perlini as he goes offside and. Pekka, there's, uh, as I say, not much happening at this moment in time. No, I mean, it's just, it's poor from both sides, really, to be honest with you, at the minute. It, uh, whether they're trying to feel each other out, I don't know, but uh, it's certainly not exciting for the first three minutes of the match. Neutral zone face-off win by the Panthers. Mosey gets this one back to Tetlow. Tetlow up the wing now. In come the... Panthers through Farmer. Farmer drops it for Pither, but taken away by Warrens. Ferguson back to Warrens. Warrens trying to feed it through to Ireland, but taken away. Tess Lukovic now trying to feed it back through to Ireland and then taken away by Robert Farmer. Darlago out to Farmer on the left wing, back into the centre ice. Darlago couldn't get his stick on it and takes this wide. Farmer back with it now. Pither. Brings it down to the blue line. That one outside. outside the zone as Phillips couldn't keep it in. And we'll have a face off outside the zone. And played uh, just over three and a half minutes of this first period. And again, I'm going to say it again, Pecker, no real clear cut chances. No, there's not even any body contact virtually at the minute. It's uh, pretty uh, poor from both teams. 
albeit I think uh, Panthers have had uh, more of the puck than us, for sure. Jose Arias in the Tony Han corner. This one taken away. The shot by Phillips goes wide as Valiev chips out the wall to Boyd. Boyd through to Podzins. Podzins throws it into the corner. This one round now. Picked up by Podzins back inside to Valiev. Valiev shoots and misses. And then it'll be brought out of the zone. Out comes Phillips yep. as he goes in. Uh, holds on to it just too long and Bruce Arias goes in offside and the Edinburgh Capitals are eventually making it into the zone there Pecker but nothing really coming out of the way of a dangerous shot No we're not we're not really passing it very well if anything we're dumping it in but uh, we were a bit fortunate there I thought that it certainly was offside but uh, I thought Panthers were certainly going to have a shot on net Kozola back to Grigors Grigors to Beneshkov Beneshkov sends this one out wide to Anderson. Anderson, down deep behind the goal line now, under pressure. Can't do much with it and just sends this one behind the goal of Garnet. Picked up by Lakovic. Lakovic sends this one out to Lindhagen. Lindhagen has Betteridge in support and just dumps this one down deep. Lindhagen will send this one back to the point. The shot comes in, kicked aside by McLaughlin. Another oh. shot coming in, tipped in front, and then the Capitals managed to get it away. Baneshkov through the centre to Kazola. Mike Kazola chips this one down deep. Past the stick of Savi. Capitals still battling for it. Ferguson into the corner now. This one taken away back to the blue line. Pouge fires one. Tipped in front, ah. but nothing on net. As Jeff Brown, I'll come into the zone. Brown, still with it is Brown. Sends this one to Machente. Back to the point, a weak shot and a good uh, shot in front. Then the Capitals can't get it out. It comes to Mosey. Mosey back inside trying Here's to find Perlini and head the Capitals. I'll just clear this one out of the zone through Harry Ferguson. Brown sends this one up the right wing. Chipped into the zone, picked up by Mashenska. Still with it. Has it on the corner, sends this one down to Brown. Jeff Brown trying to get in front of the nets, but the Capitals take it away. And Michael Ireland now has it. Couldn't get it on his stick properly and gives it away. But the Panthers will just clear. Trikanov sends this one back to Durazio. Paliev. Back inside now. Gives it away but manages to somehow get it back to Inar Podzins. Podzins through our nets. Oh, Walker good shot. Save by Garnet. First real testing shot on net from the Edinburgh Capitals here. Through our nets now comes Pither, takes the shot and that'll be a good save by McLaughlin. Well, good save by McLaughlin but also a good shot at the other end for once. It must be about our only first shot on the net. But... Uh, at the minute, I'm a bit disappointed with Nottingham as well, to be honest with you. They're not, uh, uh, to me, gelling too well. Their, their passing's pretty poor. Worse than ours. This one into the Zamboni corner. And there'll be a scramble behind the nets. Podsons picks it up. Grigor's calling for it, but not getting it from Einar Podsons. He's Latvian international teammate. Terrazio chips this one up to the blue white gang. I'm using his soccer skills to get this back in. Valiev holds on to it, has Boyd in support. Valiev still has it. We'll get it back to Podzins, but Podzins back on the point. The pass is well in front of him. Inside now, takes a shot, that one just up and over. And comes all the way back now. Lee. Gives this one back to his defensive partner and a good pass up the wing to Phillips. Phillips loses out to Cesc Lukovic and the Capitals will pick it up now through Cazola. Cazola couldn't keep it on his stick. The Capitals are putting some pressure on but not uh, some not any good pressure at this moment in time. Cesc Lukovic backhands it round to the hash marks. Phillips 
trying to get it out, uh, trying to get it in as the Capitals now come in through Anderson. Anderton, Anderson takes the shot and that one up and over. Through now. From the Panthers, the shot coming in, blocked by Ploos, and Ploos looks hurt. Back across to Teslukovic, Ploos has made it to the bench as the shot comes in. Sorry, Ploos hasn't made it to the bench, he kept on yeah. there, but a great uh, save and slide there. He took one for the team there, for sure, absolutely. Uh, a bit better playing from the Cats, but uh, what, 11.41 still to go, and uh, pretty poor hockey from both teams at the minute, to be honest with you. The Panthers win the defensive uh, draw, but the Capitals manage to pick it back up. Ferguson holds it into the corner. Up against Tetlow. Lindhagen cuts it back inside, but taken away by Dylan Warrens. Warrens still battling against Lindhagen. Panthers now have this one. Cross-size pass, trying to find Lindhagen. He'll come, come through on it. McLaughlin. <laughs> picks it up. Lakovic under pressure from Warrens gets the pass away oh. Billingsley working up against the wall the Capitals trying to force this one out his own Mosey keeps it in and then Dylan Warrens picks up the loose puck Warrens will backhand this one into the zone and then the Capitals get the line change 10.45 to go in the first period game still tied at nil Lushenta gets it into the zone and then picked up by Grigors Grigors out to Trikhanov, back to Grigors now he'll send this one wide to Valia Valia across ice to Trikhanov Trikhanov to Boyd Boyd back inside to Podzins, takes a shot, Trikhanov yes, Dennis Trikhanov picks up the rebound and pops it into the top corner Edinburgh Capitals lead by one goal to nil just, you know, just come out of nowhere. A great goal, a good team goal, one end to the other, and uh, surprisingly, the Caps take a 1 0 lead. And Craig, it's the old saying uh, in hockey throw the, the puck to the net and good things will happen. The Edinburgh Capitals managed to uh, managed to do that there. Yeah, it was good play, Callum. We broke out well, um, we put the puck on the net and we kept crashing, and that's what we've not done enough of this season. It's someone that uh, doesn't usually get in front of that net, Denis Sakanov, and uh, as a, a small defenceman, he doesn't usually venture up ice. And you're the, the opposite end of the scale, a, a big defenceman. Do you ever, uh, or did you ever, because we've got an announcement to make soon, did you ever head into that uh, front of the net area? Yeah, I did quite a lot. It was, uh, I usually obviously play as a forward, and with a big body I am, I was never scared to go to that net and be a presence. Um, sometimes you just have to get hit with the puck, it hurts, but if you want to win games, you just have to go to the dirty areas. If you were uh, that man on the screen and get hit by the puck, there's um, not much that'll change facially for yourself anyway. <laughs> Since there's not much that'll change facially for yourself anyway. No, definitely not. Might make you look better. Definitely. <laughs> Phillips, back to Pither, behind the nets, back in front, oh, great, great save, save by McGoldrick, that Super. was a cracking reaction save and it's all about being in the right place at the right time. Definitely he was well, you know, he followed the putt out the way and then it was a very good save from him. 9.24 left in the period and the Caps are winning 1-0. Let's hope they can take this run into next weekend, oh no hold on. Terrazio. Back to Grigors. Grigors across to Valiev. Valiev just uh, opens up his blade and that one goes out of play. And the Edinburgh Capitals, as you say, Pecker, with uh, just over nine minutes to go in this first period, are leading by one goal to nil. I think we're all surprised at that. I think actually, there's quite a good crowd for the last game of the season. Uh, that uh, maybe if they win tonight, it will bring people back next season, we hope. Oh. Well, next weekend here in Murrayfield, a huge game in Murrayfield uh, for the under-20s in the Scot uh, Scottish Cup semi-final. Boyd, down the left wing. He'll take this one deep, inside to Valiev. Oh. Valiev takes the shot backhand. 
but Garnet was uh, equal to that one. A great move by Boyd, but that should have been right upstairs. I mean, a player of his quality, that is an upstairs, but the goalie's lying flat out. That uh, it's, it should be 2 0. Igor Valiev just uh, a couple of minutes ago opened up his blade and sent the, the puck outside the, the ice rink. There he closed his blade and kept it down. Yeah. Now that, that was a great opportunity to make it 2 0. A great opportunity. Petridge gets it back to Lindhagen. Lindhagen under pressure now. No penalties coming. Yes, there, is, there now. is now. The penalty has been drawn in the Edinburgh Capitals. Once he touches this up, will be down to four skaters and the Capitals now touch it and there'll be a tripping call against uh, Harry Ferguson and 8.25 to go in the first period the Panthers will be um, looking to make the Capitals pay for being one goal ahead. Oh I think so, This is it's, it's the last thing that the Caps need as we know they've still got five men in nice, don't ask me why Oh, we haven't, we've only got four now. <laughs> oh. Well, Ali Flockert takes one to the skates as he uh, gets the, the block and keeps it in the zone for the, uh, the Panthers. Billingsley down to Pither, back to Billingsley on the point. Pither receives a return pass once again. Pither down deep. Into the corner, Pither gets it back now. Back to Billingsley, fires one off the stick of Mike Gazzola and safely into the glove of Jordan McLaughlin. Well, that's the first 30 seconds gone at least. The Capitals only get it as far as the blue line. Billingsley down to Pither. Pither back to the point for Billingsley. Raliev gets his stick on it and that one goes out wide. Into the zone comes uh, Phillips chasing this one against Pouz. Phillips. Pouz wins it on the corner and couldn't quite get it out. And only goes as far as the blue line. Derlago to Pither. Pither gets it back to Billingsley. Across to Farmer. Down deep to Phillips. Back to Farmer. Farmer to Phillips on the goal line. Walks up to the hash marks. Looks in for options. Gets it to Billingsley on the point. Pither now on the opposite hash marks. Takes the shot. Derlago couldn't get that one on net. As Phillips picks it back up. Farmer backhand. Side netting. Pither on the point. Uh, back to the point to Billingsley. Billingsley to Phillips now. Phillips back to Billingsley. Billingsley takes the shot, well watched and gloved good by save. Jordan McLaughlin. Yeah, very good save. He's playing very well, McLaughlin, at the minute. Very good save. You saw that obviously all the way, but uh, Caps are, I shouldn't say this, but they're playing this uh, power play pretty well. 6.44 to go in the first period. 19 seconds in the power play for the Nottingham Panthers. The Edinburgh Capitals get the face-off win and get it out of the zone. Pass a bit and this one will head down the ice. Hopefully nullifying the power play for the Nottingham Panthers. The Edinburgh Capitals leading by one goal to now as Survey gets into the zone now. Survey out wide now and this one comes back as the Edinburgh Capitals now back to five skaters in front. And the Capitals get a piece of luck there as the shot couldn't be taken in the slash against Strakanov, not called. Ferguson trying to chase Brown into the corner and uh, Kozola comes away with oh. it. Kozola out to goal scorer Denis Strakanov. Strakanov holds on to it into the corner. Outside, oh. Baneshkov with the goal right in front of him. Couldn't get the shot on net. Hoshenskip. Takes this one in, this one back inside now, Brown, cross ice, and that one will be uh, not called as netminder interference, and uh, that one, Pecker, was, uh, was a strange close. one. Absolutely, he had a look at it, the referee, but he didn't do anything about it. 
This one, Boyd gets it out of the zone. Teto sends this one across to Mosey, back to Teto and then up the wing now. Mosey gives it away and it's met by Cathal's number 17. Sergei Beneshkov then gives it away to Lakovic. Mosey gets the puck back again. Banks it off the boards up the wall to Lindhagen. Lindhagen sends this one out wide. The shot blocked by Plews. And the Capitals will pick up the loose puck through Igor Valiev. Valiev down the right wing. Valiev still with it. Valiev inside. Oh. Anderson couldn't redirect. And this second shot goes wide once again. Valiev still with it. Gives it away. And the Panthers get lucky there as it comes off a stanchion and goes wide. Terrazio sends this one wide to Podzins. Podzins inside to Lawrence. Dylan Lawrence back inside trying to find his man and Podzins gets the shot away. Good save by Garnet. Grigors to Billingsley now. Lee. Stephen Lee up to Pither. Pither banks this one past Dorazio. And the Panthers have it now through captain Stephen Lee. Lawrence couldn't get it out to his man on the corner. As the Capitals fans come into this one as uh, Podzins gets it. Out now to Ferguson. Ferguson will just rim this run round the back to Lawrence. Lawrence turns away from pressure, but uh, Survey gets back onto this one. Oi. Back to Phillips now. Phillips will turn up ice and has room in front to skate into it. Phillips sends this one outside. The shot coming in. Blocker saved by McLaughlin. As Tess Lukovic, I'll just clear the zone. A good clear at that. It comes out to Beneshkov. Beneshkov back inside looking for options. Gives it out to Podzins on the wing. Back inside now. Beneshkov gets it on Nets. But Garnet manages to make the save. Back in front, Kazoa. Bad save by Garnet. And the Capitals are putting pressure on you. Chikanov in with Capitals crowd responding as Podzins gets it. And then Kazoa follows up. Thought he's seen a loose puck, but the Edinburgh Capitals picker have got momentum. Absolutely, this is the best they've played, I think, honestly, for most of the season. This is really the, the whether they try to play for the slot next year, I don't know, but it's the, the best they've played so far. Comes now back to the point, thrown in front. Dorazio throws this one, goal bound, kicked away by Garnet. Out in front now, Capitals have it through Anderson, Anderson lays it off for Kozoa. Kozoa back inside, the Capitals couldn't get it, goal bound. And the Capitals uh, will have to retreat outside the zone back to Kozoa now. Edinburgh Capitals go for the line change. As the Panthers come in and the Capitals pick up the loose puck out to Boyd. Now too many men on the ice for the Nottingham Panthers, but nothing called as Callum Boyd holds on to this one. Back inside now to Trikanov. Trikanov under pressure, takes the shot. Garnet dives on top of this one, yep. but uh, Pekka, too many men on the ice Absolutely. there for the, the uh, Panthers. Bad of refereeing that. Six men on the ice. And uh, there's somebody now telling them. That's shocking. Absolutely shocking. But uh, really, the Caps just got to survive this one minute and 38 seconds and see how we get on in the. Well, Pecker, that could be my last wobble of the season. Is it? Uh, they, uh, as I said, week on week, Pecker and uh, regular viewers will know. The Edinburgh Capitals cheerleaders have started to dance yeah. to a song called the, the Wobble and I agreed earlier on in the season that I would take part. Hopefully we get one later on. 
Capitals inside as the, the Panthers zone now. Podzins still has it, gives this one off. The Capitals uh, can't get their stick on it and the Panthers will come away through Lakovic. Lakovic out to Betteridge. Betteridge back inside trying to find Lak uh, Lakovic as we're inside the final minute now of the period. Come on. Lakovic sends this one round to Derlago. Derlago looking for options back behind. Comes out to Farmer. Farmer drives this one into the legs of Lakovic. Derlago. Capitals pick up the puck and then he'll have the fast break down the ice. Three on two chance. Back door, Podsons! Yeah! Hey there, Podsons makes it 2 0 with 35 seconds to go. And the Edinburgh Capitals season starts now. It sure does. What a good goal. One in for the other and knocked it in. 35 seconds left. It, I think the home fans can't believe it tonight. I, I think you're a lucky mascot, big man. I'll tell you. Well, Craig Main joining us here on the Edinburgh Capitals webcast to uh, announce his retirement from uh, the playing side of the SNL. Well, Craig, if this happens, you're very welcome here again uh, next season for uh, the webcast once again. We are 2-0 ahead here in Murrayfield. The time running out. And the face-off will come back upside as uh, we go for icing. Yeah, this is the best I've seen the Capitals play, I think, for certainly the last 10 games. I've got a bit of guts about them, whether they're playing for their jobs for next season, I don't know. But they certainly are working as a team, working hard. And Nottingham, I mean, there's are no poor outfit by any means. The shot from uh, from Farmer well, goes wide. Here we go again. As the Capitals pick it up, maybe one last chance for the Caps here. Kazoa turn it back into his own zone. Gives it off to Poyuz. Poyuz sends this one through as time uh, will expire. On the first period with Edinburgh Capitals leading by two goals to nil. And Pekka, listen to that crowd. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think they... they <laughs> They can't believe it as well. The Nottingham fans are not very happy with their team, but by God, the, the Capital fans are absolutely loving this. 2-0 against Nottingham is, you know, I, I wouldn't have put money on that before the period started anyway, I can tell you. Welcome back for the second period here in Murrayfield for tonight's game between the Edinburgh Capitals and the Nottingham Panthers. I'm Callum Ferguson, joined as always by Derek Pecker Riley. And again, we apologise for the technical issues that we had in the first period. And uh, we welcome everyone on uh, YouTube tonight watching the Edinburgh Capitals webcast. And Pecker, during the period break there, we saw Charlie Anderson, the uh, ice dancer on the ice, a slightly better skater than our boyfriend Jay King. <laughs> That's very cruel, very cruel. But very true. Yes, but very true as well, yes. But, uh, yeah, the, uh, I, I'd like to have been a fly in the, the dress room of the, of the Caps at the end of that first period because uh, we haven't gone in winning many first periods, uh, especially at home. And uh, as it, there's a, a fairly good crowd for the last game of the season and, uh, as we know, Nottingham brought up a big crowd for their triple header in Scotland anyway. Well, Pekka, we've obviously uh, we've had a, a good few comments uh, on our, our at Caps TV Live Twitter account, um, the majority of them not about us tonight, unfortunately, <laughs> about uh, the technical issues that we had yep. with our webcast, but we know that uh, this is Goody uh, is watching tonight as, uh, as always, and Pekka, yep. she's your number one fan. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I'm glad I've got a fan. That's nice to know. I say number one because it is only... The one. <laughs> Anderson sends this one down Whoa. deep. Garnet gets the uh, big leg pad on it. And Pither comes out. Pither down the right wing. Cuts past uh, Teslukovic. Pither on nets, but the Capitals block this away. Derlago. Into the corner. Derlago up against Rihard Grigors. Great. Pither. Holds on to it. Backhand through centre ice, the Capitals take it out of the zone. But Kazoa couldn't get on that loose puck. Mosey now down deep to the goal line, throws it across nets. It'll be picked up by 
Podgens. Podgens gives it away. And then out front to Phillips. Phillips side net. As the Panthers pick it up once again, they'll be looking to get back into this game very, very quickly. As Phillips throws this one through centre ice and this one takes the tip and it will be a face-off inside Pickett with a Nottingham Panthers win here tonight if they eventually come back from this two-goal deficit. They'll get their 200th elite league win on the road here tonight and they'll be looking to get that not only for the 200th win but to have as high a seeding as possible. I would have thought so indeed. As I say, I'd love to have been a... a fly in the wall in the dressing room at that f end of that period because I'm sure the coach would be absolutely raging and as you said they've got a lot to play for position wise they're, they're in the playoffs but they want to obviously get a secure uh, what they would feel a secure game uh, or, or an easier game if that's the possible with, but uh, we'll see what happens with results uh, around the league at the moment in time there's playoff standings changing pretty much minute by minute at this moment in time and there's uh, five teams, four teams sorry within two points of each other as a big hit comes in from Billingsley but nothing called right in front of Toby Craig <laughs> Oden Taggart across to Billingsley, across to Gagnon now, Gagnon sends this one through Perlini chips it past Tyler Plews this one comes into the corner now. Edinburgh Capitals battling to get it out of the zone, but it's only as far as Savi. Capitals trying to get it out. Dylan Warns gets the backhand on it and gets this one out. Stephen Lee now behind his own nets. Gives it off to Savi and then this one up to Brown. Brown with a no out pass through to Perlini. Perlini takes the shot, this one goes wide. Oi. Sends this one back round to Perlini. Perlini. Back in front, the Capitals get the loose puck and get it up to Stephen Wee. Stephen Wee in the point, he sends this one down to the corner. Back in front, Harry Ferguson just turns and spins and gets this one away. Savi out to Oi. Oi down the wing. Back inside now. Pether tries to feed it to, to Farmer. Derlago back to Pether. Pether backhand pass to Derlago. Derlago back to the point to Mosey now. Mosey walks in, takes the shot off the uh. stick of Beneshkov. Through our nets. This one hits the top of the nets and goes in. And they're on the board now. Back to two goals to one. Yeah, I think a lot of that comes from the what's happened in the dressing room at the interval, I think. They're a different team altogether uh, at the start of this period, I feel. That they've come out with a, a plan and, um, yep, a nice goal. But to me, Cap should have had that puck out anyway. The, uh, oh. but, and you've got, you've got to give Nottingham something. They've, they've come back hard at Caps and uh, they'll be desperate to get this equaliser now. And lovely goal, right as you say, top right in the top corner of the net. Well, the Edinburgh Capitals were so offensive in that first period and they've uh, played backs to the wall stuff here at the yeah. start of this setting, uh, second period, but the Edinburgh Capitals now opening up into the zone. Dylan Anderson receives a slash from Phillips, but nothing coming here as the Capitals get the shot away through Mike Cazola, but then sent wide and the Capitals almost keep it in through Denis Trikhanov, but uh, now with it is Cazola. Cazola gives it away to Phillips, back through now, taking the shot just wide. Gutierrez round the back and the Panthers can't uh, get anything going here as the Capitals pick it up through Dylan Anderson Anderson just turns away from pressure and then once again finds himself in some space into the corner he throws this one down to the Tony Han corner a name on many lips uh, this week Tony Han it's uh, something that some Caps fans have wanted some not it looks like it's not. Mosey chips it off the wall. And this one down, Farmer couldn't get his stick on it. Plews. Oh. To Dorazio, Dorazio up the wing to Boyd, Boyd to Podzins, and then the Capitals lose out. Farmer now sends this one wide to Derlago. 
Derlago cuts back inside under pressure from oh. Dorazio. It comes to Pither now. Pither takes the shot off the leg pad of Tyler Poison. He's been in the wars tonight as the slash comes in. And uh, Toby Craig will call it. Yeah, Poison's got a bad one there. Pither will be heading to the penalty box for two minutes. 14.42 to go. Edinburgh Capitals still leading by that one goal. Two goals to one. But Panthers look a different team from the from the first period, as as you would expect. Uh, you know, two 0 down, and uh, as I say, I'd love to be in that uh, dressing room because they they are definitely far more aware of what's going on now. I know they're uh, they're on a, against a power play now, but uh, a, a different team from the first period. Well, the Edinburgh Capitals will look to get. Uh on the board here and give ourselves that two goal lead once again not known for their productiveness on the uh, power play this season but they'll try their best they've got nothing to lose now Pecker no absolutely except for the it's game <laughs> Warrens down to Podzins sends this one into the corner now as uh, that ice is sloppy out front and it comes to Tess Lukovic ah. big shot well saved by Garnet Warrens. Sends it round trying to find Boyd, but Boyd is just a step off the boards. And this one will be cleared down the ice as the Panthers go for the line change. Tess Lukovic, the man who had a golden opportunity just a few seconds ago, gives this one up to Podzins. Podzins into the zone now. Looks for options, sends this one backhand round to Derazio. Derazio under pressure. No. And then the Capitals will have to retreat outside their zone. Perlini giving chase now against Anderson. 40 seconds to go in the power point. Valiev trying to get it out wide, but Brown cuts out the pass. Cazola. Trying to get it, uh, get it back inside, but comes off the skate of Windhagen. Derazio, with oh, a blind pass, throws it uh, across to Beneshkov, to Valiev now. Back through to Beneshkov, Beneshkov sends it wide to Anderson. Ten seconds left on the power point. This one back to Kozola. Grigors to Kozola. Kozola across, side netting from Trakanov, as Mike Kozola has it. Kozola takes possession of it, he'll send this one across offside. and this one will be offside, called by Ali Flocker. But the Capitals, only a few chances on that power play, but the best one of the lot fell, uh, fell to Konstantin Teslokovic. Yep, and didn't actually uh, manage to, uh, yeah, like a golf shot as you say. But anyway, uh, Panthers will be desperate to get this game back to 2 all now. They look like a different outfit from that first period, as I said earlier, they are uh, far more... That has to be icing. It is, and uh, Dennis Trakanov tried to go for the... Uh, what's now known here in Murrayfield as the Titlow, uh, with uh, Titlow scoring his first goal of the season for the Panthers just a few weeks ago here from centre ice. Uh, yes. Dennis Trakanov thought he could do the same, but um, the, the key point to that one was um, it has to hit the 6 by 4 Exactly, aye. And that's just a goalkeeper. <laughs> <laughs> Mosey takes the shot, ah, good glove save by save. Jordan McLaughlin and Pekka. We sound like a broken record week on week, but Jordan McLaughlin shouldn't be in this position. Um, no. he, he's been a fantastic netminder for the Edinburgh Capitals, but uh, been thrown into the deep end here with the Edinburgh Capitals and he's got better week on week. Absolutely, no question about that at all. Um, and, and it's good for the future for the lad as well. If Caps bring, uh, well, it depends on who they bring back or what goalie they bring. Uh, oh, yes! Dylan Warrens grabs it out of the air, takes the ah. shot. It's blocked in front by Mosey. A weak shot it ended up being. But uh, ah. Warrens still with it. Sends this one down deep to Ferguson. Ferguson trying to get it in front to Ireland. And then the Panthers will come out through Derlago. Derlago. Chips it off to Pether and then the Capitals battling to get it outside the zone. Trikanov through the air. I'll get this one out now. Gagnon. 
or retreat behind his own goal line under pressure from Harry Ferguson. And that was the slowest chase back into <laughs> yes. the zone I've ever seen. Very much indeed. Ouch! The Capitals trying to jump on the loose puck. Perlini. Round past Tess Lukovic. Jeff Brown now gives it away to Tess Lukovic and Podzins will pick up the loose puck. And then gets uh, shoved to the floor as this one tipped in front just wide by Brown. Capitals under pressure once again, but gets this up to Podzins. Podzins puts on the brakes, tries ah. to go through the 5 0 of Billingsley. Teslukovic sends this back to Plews. Plews through center ice. Callum Boyd. One hand oh. round the back. No. And, uh, after all that, Pecker, he gives it away. Gutierrez down the right wing. Back inside, taken away by Kazoa, but given away to Phillips. Phillips under pressure from three men. And those three men together Good stop. don't make up uh, the huge size that Phillips brings. And then the shot from Stephen Lee, well covered by Jordan McLaughlin and Pecker. For the Edinburgh Capitals tonight, we've uh, not even played half the game, but it has been uh, a great performance for the Caps so far. Very much indeed, very much indeed. I think, that, as I say, the, the crowd here tonight, I think there's some new people uh, tonight, they'll be saying, how are the Capitals in the position where they are uh, when, when, when they see this performance? Because they're, they're playing well, they really are. Gutierrez is out to Phillips, back inside now. Across the blue line, oh, looks uh, to be very close to being offside, but nothing called there as the Capitals pick up the loose puck. Anderson chips this one in as he receives the hit from Survey and gets it back now. Inside the last half of this game, Phillips sends it in as Dorazio just returns it to his opposite number. Dorazio takes it out of the air. Has uh, the outlet pass to Ferguson and uses it. Ferguson chips it in. He'll chase this one. Garnet will help it round now. Lee out to Lindhagen. Lindhagen cross ice pass to Lakovic. Robert Lakovic into the zone. Lakovic playing his 600th game in the Elite League tonight. Robert Lakovic still with it in the cafe corner. He'll send this one round, trying to find Petridge. Petridge up against Tess Lukovic, and Tess Lukovic just chips this up the zone, but it's kept in. Lukovic round the back now. Owen Tagen picks it up on the wall. Under pressure from Anderson. So, uh, Dylan Warren, sorry. Back to Mosey. Mosey with some room, takes the shot. And that glove is getting hotter week by week. Absolutely. This guy is improving game on game, as you say. Um, and uh, a good save. 8.45 left in this second period. And it's uh, still 2-1 to the Caps. Face off to the left-hand side of Jordan McLaughlin. Is won by the Panthers. Delago throws this one. McLaughlin kicks it wide. The Capitals still trying their best to get this out of the zone, but the Panthers still have it. Sent wide by Farmer on the redirect, back into Pither now. Pither couldn't get his pass away, and Valiev turns away from pressure, gives this one out to Podzins. Podzins chips it into the zone, chased by Boyd, an awkward bounce off the stanchion. Almost came back into the possession of Boyd, but Billingsley gets it around to Gagnon. Billingsley now in the Zamboni corner gets it down. To Farmer, Farmer to Pither, up against the boards, Rihar Grigors takes it away, Trakanov to Grigors, Grigors sends this one up the left wing, trying to find Baneshkov and does, Baneshkov just fires it into the zone off the backboards and Gagnon keeps, uh, sorry, Garnet keeps this one going, out in front, it, oh. a scramble in front and the Capitals couldn't make it pay. 
Marzhensky couldn't get that one in and this one will be taken away by the Caps Kazo on a three on two opportunity for the Caps Kazo a forced wide sent in oh. to the side netting as Beneshkov tries to win it on the boards but taken away now Perlini uh, poor shot sends this one wide and the Capitals will pick up possession Teslukovic sends this one up to Beneshkov Beneshkov couldn't get the centre pass to Kozola and then Sergei Beneshkov plays his first hit of the season Mike Kozola across to Dylan Anderson and uh, through to Michael Ireland oh, and then didn't Garnet know didn't know where that one was but uh, sometimes Pekka you better be lucky than good but that luck there was all uh, taken by good positioning absolutely absolutely indeed but uh, that could have been a golden opportunity we uh, said there that uh, Sergei Beneshkov has just taken his first hit of the season or made his first hit of the season we look across to the bench and he looks up <laughs> yeah. oh good Good this work. one goes out wide to Betteridge. Betteridge loses out to Ireland. Michael Ireland trying to chip it up the zone to Ferguson. This one back to Mosey now. Mosey throws it in front into that danger area, but it's sent wide. Wakovic holds on to it. Mike Derazio thought he'd uh, passed it off. The shot from Mosey goes wide. Wind tag him. This one uh, still deep in the zone for the Panthers. Mosey. Out to Pither now. Oh. Pither. Derlago holds on to this puck now as the Capitals fans try to get behind their men in blue this one comes back to Teto Teto on the red line thought about the shot uh, for a second there I suspect Pe Pecker as Pether takes the shot and uh, the Capitals scramble in front covered eventually by Jordan McLaughlin yeah, his defence just let him down a bit there. They they should have cleared that away altogether, and I think the puck was left lying there. 5.15 left in this second period. Yeah, this is probably, as I said earlier, one of the better games that the Caps have played all season. A reminder that you can get in contact with us, with us at Caps TV Live on Twitter. As I get the shake of the head from uh, the producer who's uh, gone through a number of tweets tonight. But uh, we'd like to hear your views on how it's going now. <laughs> Billings like... Yeah. As uh, the Edinburgh Capitals will eventually be on the power play here. As Phillips takes a seat. Well, just to let you know, uh, we've got 5.04 to go in the second period. At the end of the period, we'll, uh, we'll break very quickly because we will be taking uh, the webcast off the, um, the air very quickly just to do a few improvements for the final period. But we, you will see a, a video not available um, graphic and then we'll be back on air as soon as possible. Just keep refreshing as Valiev takes a shot off the backside of Dylan Anderson and then cleared down the ice Valiev turns away from pressure and he'll come up the right wing to Dylan Anderson Anderson this one now back to Valiev Valiev down to Kozola Kozola trying to be the quarterback on this power play slows things down Mike Kozola off to Beneshkov Oh. Sergei Beneshkov, cross to Derazio, Derazio fires this one down deep, 
It comes out to Valiev now, out to Kozoa, back to Valiev on the point. Kozoa returns the pass across the ice to Dorazio. In front, Dylan Anderson oh. picks out the pitching wedge and sends this one over the bar. Valiev fires it off the legs of Windhagen, but a good period on that uh, power play there, Pekka. Excellent, absolutely excellent. They held the puck in well, and uh, even when they hit something, they actually managed to uh, re retrieve the puck. Anyway, they've still got 43 seconds left to try and... Podgins now. Fires this one. Oh, Into yes! The what a goal! In our Podgins, oh. with a rocker of a shot, takes off the water bottle behind Michael Garnett and Pickett. We didn't see that one coming. Not at all. Absolutely superb. What a lovely pair of hands there and right in the top corner. And, uh, yeah, it's 3-1 to the Caps. I think Michael Garnett's still looking for that puck at this moment in time. He's still set and square, ready for the shot. And oh, mate, it's went past you. I think he's looking for the water bottle as well because it went through in the air. Great goal. Superb goal. Well, we all know that Einar Podson's got that rocket, but that one came off the wrist shot as uh, Robert Farmer banks it off the legs of a Capitals player now to play, but the Edinburgh Capitals, Pecker, are three goals to one ahead. Yes, we haven't said that too often this season, I can tell you. Still a long way to go, we've got a period in three and a half minutes, so um, my big worry is that we change the goalie for the last period. That's the worry, because oh. that's, the, that's the story. That's Kevin Forshaw uh, will ice tonight at some point. Uh, not entirely sure when, um, but Kevin Forshaw in his last game here in the Edinburgh Capitals shirt after 18 years with the Edinburgh Capitals, a one club man, and he will ice at some point, but the Edinburgh Capitals will be looking to be ahead enough to uh, have the confidence, well not to have the confidence, uh, Kevin Forshaw is a, a, a great guy, a great netminder, but uh, the emotions will be running high with him as well. Absolutely, I mean, I mean he's, as you say, he's been a good servant and so on to the club, but uh, my thoughts is we've got a reasonable crowd here tonight, let's see if we can win our last home game. I'm not, not, not doing any, you know, taking any away from the goalkeeper, but uh, I think the team's pretty settled at the minute, and uh, if it works that way. Lucieres. Tries to get it back in front, Boyd picks it up. Boyd, down the right wing with speed. Callum Boyd, round two, goal scorer, Einar Podzins. Billingsley, trying to cut uh, back inside to get that out and it's cleared ice. down the ice. As Dorazio wins the race down there, into the corner. He'll send it round but no one on the right wing for the Edinburgh Capitals to pick it up. Gangnam. Gagnon sends this one off to Savé. Savé takes the shot. And then the Panthers still with it. Phillips takes the shot and that one once again gloved by Jordan McLaughlin. Yeah, he's, he's, he's having a great game. That's what I say to me to try and disrupt that now. I mean, sentiment to me shouldn't come into it. If, if Caps are winning 3-1 going into the last period, the lad must stay in goals as far as I'm concerned. And in a season where Jordan McLaughlin has, uh, as I say, given his best, uh, but uh, with with a lack of resources in front of him tonight, is going to do him a, a, a whole heap of confidence. Oh, superb. The Panthers with just over two minutes to go in this second period are deep in the capital zone. So they, they send this one out to Mosey in front. It's scrambled. Jeff Brown picks up the garbage and pops it into the net and with exactly two minutes to go we've got a hockey game on our hands. Yeah, we still have, well, I think there's a hockey game always on our hands here at, just now but uh, yeah, it was a bit of a shame the goalie was down there but all credit to Nottingham, they haven't, I don't mean given up, they've just worked hard and hard and uh, at the minute uh, they're back in this game at 3-2. Thirty-eight minutes on the clock here in Murrayfield, the Edinburgh Capitals leading by three goals to two. He did hit that right, three goals to two for the men yeah. in blue. Through centre ice, Podzins couldn't get his stick on it. 
And this one is sent wide now. Mosey under pressure from Podzins. Uh, it's now picked up by Pithip. Mosey out to survey. Down the right, uh, left wing, sorry. Farmer chases down Trikanov. Trikanov leaves it, but only to Pithip. In front, Robert Farmer back inside, and Der Lago had the 6 by 4 to shoot at. And Edinburgh Capitals now trying to clear this one outside the zone as the Panthers have now gone into sixth gear. Podzins sends this one wide to Tricano. Tricano through centre ice, touched by Kazola to nullify the icing. And Mike Kazola got another touch on it to uh, direct it on goal. Brown as we'll have a, an offside call and that one came from uh, Neil Wilson at the far end yeah. of the rink. Graham Roger didn't see it. Unbelievable. As you say, the referee can call it from this end. And uh, anyway, 50 seconds, 0.5 left. Caps have got to just hold on and get into this dressing room. There wasn't much said there between Graham Roger and Neil Wilson, but Neil Wilson's stare told it all. <laughs> Absolutely. Stephen Wheat fires this well, tried to fire this one down round the boards, but a uh, uh, miss connection. But the Panthers still have it now. Sort of like one of your golf shots, was it? The Capitals now have it in this. <laughs> so, cheers, Becca. <laughs> it's like um, two holes to go with two drives to use, and I put it out yeah. of bounds, and it's just me. <laughs> I, I forgot about that. I was, uh, I was kind of hoping you had. Perlini down the right wing now. Drops this one back. The shot coming in just goes wide. Back to Gagnon. Sends this back to Perlini on the blue line. This one will be cleared by Beneshkov. Down the ice as the second period expires yeah. with the Edinburgh Capitals leading by three goals to two. And as we see, we're going to take the webcast down off of uh, YouTube very quickly just to do some improvements. And we'll be back in plenty of time for the third period. The Edinburgh Capitals leading by three goals to two. Welcome back for the third period here. Welcome back for the third period here in Murrayfield. The game between the Edinburgh Capitals and the Nottingham Panthers. The Edinburgh Capitals leading by three goals to two. After 20. And it's still Jordan McLaughlin in nets. The uh, sightings of Kevin Forshaw is uh, not here yet. I'm getting a signal from Pecker. He has uh, 10 fingers up. I'm showing you he's not from across the water. <laughs> I do apologise. Uh, sorry about that. I had to. I had to be there throwing in there. Derlago back to Stephen Wheat to Mosey now. Lakovic, uh, sorry, it uh, wasn't Lakovic with the shot, but uh, the Panthers still have it down deep. In front is Brown, and Jeff Brown gets his second of the night. Dead on one minute into the third period and the game's tied at three. I felt sorry for the goalkeeper there. The, 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 the defence just looked evaporated, just disappeared by top corner. I uh, see from the, uh, the replay there, we've now got our uh, replays back on uh, with the uh, webcast now settled down a wee bit. But, uh, we've managed to get back to our, our replays and as I say, Pecker, yeah. as you said, no one picking up Jeff Brown in front of the nets and just like that, it's back to three goals up. Yeah. One minute and they've tied the game. They've obviously had <laughs> said something in the dressing room, that's for sure. Dylan Warrens drops this one off to Michael Ireland. Ireland fires it through on nets. This one saved by Garnet. Out wide now. Gutierrez sends this one across. Picked up by Phillips. Phillips 
Passed it off and then the shot couldn't get away. Gutierrez will send this one back round the back. Picked up by Phillips. Zach Phillips still with it. Gives it off to Stephen Wheat. Leaves it for Phillips once again. Top corner. Phillips. Fires it back in front and then it's scrambled in. And it wasn't top corner, Pecker. Bottom corner it was, but just like that. The Nottingham Panthers are ahead by four goals to three. The Caps all of a sudden look ragged. They, look, they, they just kind of lost their lost their way. I mean, it's only <laughs> under two minutes gone and they've lost two goals very simply. Well, it, uh, the tides have turned here in Murrayfield and the Edinburgh Capitals after 40 minutes of high-paced energy game. They've found themselves with backs to the wall and <laughs> the Edinburgh Capitals fans uh, being as, as joyful as they have been all season in the Murrayfield here singing that uh, they had forgotten that the Panthers fans were actually here as the Panthers fans get uh, their voices. Gregors just chips this one in. Billingsley. This one just now sent up the wall. Picked up by Teslukovic. Teslukovic out to Kozola. Mike Kozola back to Grigors. Grigors through centre ice to Paneshkov. Paneshkov couldn't keep it on his stick as Farmer comes in, kicked away by McLaughlin. This one kept in by Mosey. Mosey tried to get it off to Der Lago, but uh, Valiev will go down the right wing. Plays it off to Anderson. Anderson back to Trikanov. Trikanov had time to shoot, but pulled out. This one down to Valiev now. Valiev back in front, taken away as Der Lago now gets it. Der Lago throws this one into the zone, uh, looking for Pither to chase, and he eventually gets it on the half wall as Podzins picks it up now. Out to Boyd. Podzins gets it back, hits the goal post and the Capitals with a great chance to get back on the board now picked up by Pouz and the uh, Nottingham Panthers fans are in full voice as the whistle goes and there'll be a penalty up against the Nottingham Panthers and the Edinburgh Capitals go on the power play now Peckert we look across to the Capitals bench and Man of the night, uh, Kevin Forshaw is warming up, but it's not only him retiring at the end of this season. We look at the uh, the bench of the uh, Nottingham Panthers and not icing tonight due to injury, but uh, hopefully he'll go into the playoffs. But David Clark for the Nottingham Panthers uh, retiring after this season and what a great career he's had. Absolutely. Uh, very much indeed and has been, as you say, a, a stalwart uh, for Panthers over the years, etc. And... Uh, I'm sure they'd be looking forward to the rest as well. I know how it feels when you when time's up, boy. Kozoa sends this one back to Valiev. The shot coming in, blocked away as Kozoa gets it back and then takes the shot. Round the back now, Valiev will chase to the blue line. Keeps it in, banks it off the wall and then it's cleared out of the zone. Derazio. Out to Beneshkov. Beneshkov sends this one in and then Kozola around the back. Boyd will chase this into the corner. Podzins, top of the circle, takes this one down onto the hash marks now. Back to Teslukovic on the boil and takes the shot. Scramble in front, this one just goes wide from Trikanov. And then Perlini will just chip it past Teslukovic and He'll chase his own dump. Perlini gets it. Trikanov now. Edinburgh Capitals with 45 seconds to go in the power plate. Trikanov gets it in front of McLaughlin's crease. Trikanov to Podzins. Einar Podzins chips this one out to Boyd on the wing. Boyd will send this one round. Chases it and gets uh, it back for a second. But then taken away by Mosey. Mosey, out wide to Bruce Erez, trying to get it back inside and the Capitals 
get a piece of equipment onto it. Tess Lukovic feeds Podzins out wide now to Anderson. Anderson back to Podzins as the uh, penalty expires and we're back to 5-on-5 five five hockey. And it's now cleared down the ice and the icing will be called. And Pecker, not only uh, David Clark, um, leaving the, the Panthers organisation due to retirement this year, but the man behind the bench for the last uh, several seasons, Corey Nielsen in his last regular season game tonight before he heads into the playoffs and then goes on to pastures new and he's been a, another stalwart on that bench. Oh, very much indeed. Over the years, very much indeed. Very loyal and so on. And uh, no, I think a lot of the clubs have people like that, that uh, once they get into a club and uh, <laughs> give their heart and soul to it, Sorry, I'm just watching see what happens here. Just I will come back to that point yeah, in a wee absolutely. second, Pecker. Absolutely. Derwago in the Tony Han corner. Turns away from pressure. Trying to uh, find the man in front and it comes now out to Billingsley. Billingsley down into the corner as the Capitals fans trying to get behind their men now. Pether rims this one round trying to find Derwago in the Tony Han corner once again. And now comes back and into the court, uh, into centre ice. Now blocked out to Billingsley. Farmer now back inside, and this one uh, tipped wide. Picked up by Beneshkov. Beneshkov drops this one for Kazoa. Kazoa heads wide to try and find some space. Turns back into his own zone. Holds on to it. Sends it uh, wide for Clues, but taken away. As the Panthers come through. Scramble in front once again, and it's uh, like junior hockey for the Capitals take it away. Two on two chance now. Podzins with Boyd in support. Podzins fires this one down deep as Boyd's taken off the putt by Stephen Lee. Perlini drops it for Delago, takes deflection and out of play. But the Capitals with a fast break there and Nenard Podzins potentially just making the wrong choice. Yeah, at the end it was, but uh, yeah, Panthers just, look, they've got that little bit edge now, Caps to me are uh, just kind of running out of ideas to try and get back to, to four all. And they can get very much caught. Oi. Sorry, I'm just, no. Gets his pass away eventually, but the Panthers now have it deep in the capital zone, back in front now, Perlini to Brown, Brown will fire this one through, oh. but the Capitals take it away, Callum Boyd now, Boyd out to Valiev, Valiev oh. to Podzins, Podzins will be all alone as he throws that one goal bound. Tess Lukovic into the zone, he'll throw this one down deep. And the Panthers now come up the right wing, thrown on nets, turned away by McLaughlin. Podzins. Loses an edge, but still manages to get his pass away to Grigors. The Capitals putting themselves under pressure here. The Capitals almost get the pass away, but it's picked up by the Panthers. Phillips still with it, under pressure from Lawrence. Leaves it for Lakovic, but Phillips gets it back. Lakovic now off the wall, gives it away. Edinburgh Capitals outside the zone through Harry Ferguson. Ferguson, I'll just throw this one round the back. Mosey back inside to Pither. Pither takes the shot, saved by McLaughlin. And this one will be out as there's now too many men on the ice for the Nottingham Panthers for a good five seconds or so. But nothing called as Beneshkov takes a shot. That one uh, missed by all four officials, Pecker. Yeah, it's shocking. Really, I thought that's what they were meant to do is be aware of what's going on. But uh, we could see it here, no problem at all. Derlago fires that one wide. Pither picks it up in the Tony Han corner. Drops it uh, for Delago, but it was tied up on his feet. He kept it. Pither takes the hit from Poise, and Poise gets it outside the zone. We're ten and a half minutes to go. Yeah. 
Brown now looking for his hat trick tonight. Receives a hit from Plews and Plews breaks up the plate through centre ice now to Callum Boyd. Boyd couldn't take it into the zone with him. And then a straight pass <laughs> dealt with by uh, Garnet. Down the right wing now. Capitals will pick it up through Boyd. Boyd gives it off to Podzins. Podzins plays it off for Valiev but take it away. And the Panthers get it down the ice. We'll look across to the Edinburgh Capitals bench as we're now into the last 10 minutes and the helmet is now in the hands of retirement man Kevin Forshaw as Valiev sends this one down and deep. And now it's the moment that most Edinburgh Capitals fans have uh, been looking forward to tonight. Kevin Forshaw will take to the ice for the last 9 minutes 36 seconds of his career. And Pecker, that young man that you keep talking about, is now on the ice for the yes, Edinburgh Capitals, yes, playing his last game uh, in 18 years. The shot comes in as Forshall just watches this one wide, uh, confident that that one was going wide there from Kevin Forshall. Tess Lukovic throws it through to Warrens. Dylan Warrens sends it to Ferguson. Ferguson takes the shot, that one just wide. As uh, Kevin Forshaw's name rings out, as uh, well, Pecker, we can't see his eyes, but we know that he's going to be an emotional wreck in there tonight oh, in his crease. It must be, it must be indeed. Phillips into the zone now. It comes out to Mosey. Mosey back to the survey, uh, up to Derlago. Derlago, I'll just fire this one in as Forshaw decides that uh, he's going to leave that one to go wide. Derlago. Out to Farmer. Capitals will just chip it out the zone and down and out deep. Mosey. Down the right wing now to Pether. Pether back inside to Farmer. Gives it away to Kazoa. Kazoa weighs it off for Beneshkov. Sergei Beneshkov down the left wing. Cuts away from pressure and then takes a big hit into the boards. Capitals pick up the puck now. Offside. It comes in and then there'll be an offside call on the Panthers and the face-off will come outside the zone. Can you remember the night that you retired, Pecker? Um, yes, I can. Yep, absolutely. How many goals did you score? Just a ten? <laughs> Just a ten. Yep, yep, I can remember it well, boy. I remember I'll, it well. Just but like Kevin Forshaw, you were a one-club man as well. Absolutely, yep. And it was all on this ice here in Murrayfield. Yep, so you absolutely. know exactly how it is to be Kevin <laughs> Forshaw at this moment in time as the shot comes in. Forshaw watching it well as it goes wide. Perlini on the goal line sends this one back to the point. Takes the shot Jeez. off the crossbar. As I think Mike Cazot got something on it to take it yep. up and over. As the Panthers are now putting so much oh. pressure on the Capitals. The shot coming through, that one going wide. Billingsley sends this one down the right wing. Panthers in possession, takes oh. a shot. Big save by Kevin Forshaw as he gets something on it. And that'll do his confidence some, some Absolutely. good. Absolutely, that's the first time he's touched that, I would imagine. Anderson chips it off the boards down the ice. Just over seven minutes to go. Phillips comes into the zone. Takes the shot, saved by. Oh, great save! Oh, yeah, yes, I have to say, a great save. Actually, there's more, there's more uh, Nottingham fans cheered that one than uh, Edinburgh fans, I think. As uh, Kevin Forshaw going for his shot out tonight. No, no, <laughs> that's the wrong thing to say, young man. As Phyllis takes oh, the shot, Kevin Forshaw. The skates have been hung up too early. Yep, absolutely. You are you're such a man. Terrazio just clears this one round the ice. Down to Stephen Lee.
Wintagen out to Lakovic. Lakovic into the zone, drops it for Phillips. Phillips trying to get the cross ice pass. Edinburgh Capitals playing good defence at this moment in time. As this one will go down, and Stephen Lee, it was a, a judge to have uh, touched it. This one goes down now. Grigors, I'll take it back round. Kevin Forshaw's net chips it up. And the Edinburgh Capitals clear it out the zone through Igor Valiev. Mosey, through centre ice, taken away by the Caps as Podsons. I'll have uh, possession of it. Gives it off to Warrens. Warrens will just dump this one into the zone. And the Panthers will pick it up through Farmer. Farmer back to Mosey. Mosey sends it round and up the zone now to Derlago. Derlago send it round the back. Picked up by Michael Ireland. Ireland out to Teslukovic. Konstantin Teslukovic out to Grigors now. Ferguson sends this one down deep. The Panthers still looking for that insurance goal. As the Panthers now come in through Pither. Pither. Still with it is Pither. Drops it back to Billingsley. Another save by Forshall. Pither. Down deep to survey. Back to Billingsley. Billingsley inside. The shot coming in blocked by Ferguson. Set round the back, the Edinburgh Capitals will chase, but it's picked up by Billingsley. Perlini, cut out by Kazoa. Billingsley sends it down into the Zamboni corner. Back inside, Brown looking for that hat-trick tonight. Kazoa taking some pressure off the Edinburgh Capitals defence. Teslukovic up to Ireland. Ireland will just fire this one in as the Edinburgh Capitals forwards go for the line change. Into the last five minutes of the third period here. Fusieres sends this one wide. In come the Panthers. Taken away by Trikanov. And it's picked up by Phillips. Phillips cross ice pass to Lee. Lee lays this one off and then the Capitals will get the loose puck. Ah! Pluz couldn't get the pass in as uh, Forshall does well to put some pressure on. Picked up by Valiev now. Valiev tries the cross ice pass but picked off and then dumped into the zone by Gutierrez. Valiev, under no pressure at all, picks it up in the Zamboni corner, cuts back inside. Igor Valiev into the zone now. Valiev cuts it back into Boyd. Boyd takes the shot. Oh. And Garnet has had nothing to do in the last few minutes. But he made the save there. Absolutely, I thought Boyd was going to pop that right onto the net, right up the top. 3.53 to go. I did get one more wobble in. Did you? I've got one more wobble in this season and that may well be the last of the year. <laughs> in our Podgins. I still have to find out what this wobble actually is, I just know the dance. Well, you certainly... Um, I've perfected it. Yes, I know that's what absolutely. you're trying to say. Grigors takes the shot. Good shot. Into Garnet. Yeah, I think I've perfected it. I think you have indeed as well. I think you should be out on that ice doing it one of these nights. Just Wait for it. next season. That uh, Lycra will be on. Oh. And I'll be looking as uh, fit as ever, Pecker. Uh -huh. Fit as a fiddle. I can't really say how much fit I'm going to be, but... Uh, <laughs> I'll be working on it on the off-season as the shot comes in from Pods and is looking to double his lead and he turns round <laughs> to, to uh, Rihar Gregors and just gives him the shrug of the shoulders going, why not? Yep, quite right. Why not indeed? Three minutes and 31 seconds to go in the season here in Murrayfield. Unless the Edinburgh Capitals manage to get a goal back on the board and take this to overtime. I've just had a, a thought that I'm going to ask you in a wee second, Pecker. But... Um, this would just put paid to this. This would just set it off tonight. Kevin Forshall agreed to have the last ten minutes or so of the game. The Edinburgh Capitals are only trailing by one. Do you pull the netminder? <laughs> well, that's, a, that's a tricky one. Yeah, that's a tricky one. And does it get you? There you go. On? There you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go, son. You're not yeah. having the last ten minutes. Yeah. We're pulling you for the last two. You're cruel. You're cruel. <laughs> 
Very cruel. Dylan Lawrence up against uh, Pithit, having uh, words on how to take a face off. As Podsins thinks he's scored a goal as he celebrates. Oh no, hold on, he's just asking the question of why not just drop the puck, sir. Cross eyes oh, pass across to Pithit. Great vision in finding uh, Pithit. Pithit lays this one off as uh, Lawrence goes in hard up against the wall. Derlago off to Jan Sardi. This one back to Derlago. Look, Pither now gains the goal line, sends this one in front as the Capitals get it out to Callum Boyd. Boyd will be able to use his speed but ah, can't get past Mosey. Tess Lukovic back to Boyd. Boyd back in front. Ah. And then Garnet will claw that one out there. But Set. the Edinburgh Capitals had the breakaway that they wanted. Then uh, Callum Boyd using some of that speed but couldn't get past Evan Mosey. Yeah, no, the, the Caps are uh, losing these two very much quick goals at the start of the last period. Uh, kind of knocked the stuffing out of them a bit. But they've, they've composed themselves since then. And uh, it's still 4 3 with what, 2.38 to go. Face-off win by the Caps, back to Tess Lukovic and then gloved by Garnet once again. Super and uh, he's had not much to do in the last uh, period here, but uh, been called into action in the last couple of minutes. Absolutely, absolutely. The shot up and uh, out, but uh, well, kept in now as the Capitals get it back. Scramble in front ah. and Garnet once again gets on top of it as a player down for the Nottingham Panthers. But we'll go back to the replay here, Pecker, as yeah. uh, Beneshkov just gets it in front, scrambled ah. and well watched by Garnet. Very much indeed, the instant replay who showed that. Yep. 2.25. Can the Caps get an equaliser? This is serious question. question now, Pecker. Do we pull the netminder to get back in this game? I doubt it. Uh, I, I, I really think that would be hmm, maybe a suicide. I don't know. Capitals uh, with three face-off wins in a row here. Paneshkov throws it just oh. wide. As this one comes out, mm -hmm. Forshaw touches it wide to Teslukovic to Pouze now. Pouze back to oh. Anderson. Anderson couldn't keep his stick on it. And the Capitals will look to oh, gain possession. They're going to give this away here. Kozola inside the final two minutes now. Kozola chips it wide. And there's one or two people on the bench, Pecker, looking towards Kevin Forshaw. And mm -hmm. indeed, he, he started his skate. Chikanov. Now we know that uh, Kevin Forshaw, the speedster that he is, can get to that bench within uh, two years. Um, <laughs> uh, but we've only got a minute and a half to get uh, the goal back here but the Nottingham Panthers clear the zone and uh, with the possession of the Edinburgh Capitals the bench is open all eyes are on Kevin Forshaw still in the nets at this moment in time and he goes Kevin Forshaw in his last game has been pulled and uh, it was a serious question I asked Becker as we've yeah. now got icing yeah. and that whistle came very early. Not half, not half. I thought anyway. uh, Robert Farmer had the, the edge going into the race there mm -hmm. as the timeout comes from the Edinburgh Capitals and Pecker. It's going to be uh, a tense finish. The Edinburgh Capitals winning some face-offs in the offensive zone and well, Kevin Forshaw current with, uh, currently with the uh, the shutout yes. uh, intact, standing on the bench. Can the Caps do it? I think they can, really. They, they've got six players, as you say, on the ice now. And, you know, it would, be a, it would be a lovely ending to the season to tie the game up and then take it into overtime. I'm maybe just uh, in fairyland now, but uh, they, they could certainly do it. We've, we've got guys there that can put the puck in the net. Well, the Edinburgh Capitals will send out Inar Podzins, Mike Derazio, yep. Igor Valiev, Denis Sukanov, Dylan Anderson, 
And Edinburgh Cattles top point scorer Mike Kazoa. 1-0-3 to go. The Edinburgh Cattles last chance to win in the last game of the season. Man, this could be some of the guys' last game here anyway. To be the fair. shot oh, coming in from Pods is well saved, saved ah. by Michael Garnett. Yep. And watch this one yeah. again, Pekka. This one was just a reaction save. He didn't know much about it, but gets on it and just gets yep. that big yeah, piece of hand. leather on. Yep. That, that could have been the tying goal, but uh, not to be. 59.1 seconds left in the third period. The Edinburgh Capitals looking to extend their season by a wee bit more if they can get this goal and get into overtime. Ah. This uh, backhand shot. Taken away by Derazio. Cross size pass taken away by Wintagen this time. Chip through. Derazio will pick up the puck. 40 seconds to oh. go. Bad pass comes across the, uh, the zone as Lindhagen gets it. As Lindhagen just holds it up against the goal line. They don't need to score now. No, no. They can uh, happily hold it up against the wall with 25 seconds to go. The Edinburgh Capitals, one last chance to tie but this game back up. Podzins. Backhands it into the zone. It'll be chased by Mosey and uh, Kazoa. And this one comes down the zone. 12 seconds to go. One last pass down the ice as Podzins gets it now. Einard Podzins, we know he's got this bullet in him as he just sends this one into the zone. And the 2017-2018 season ends here in Murrayfield with the best losing game of the season yeah. for the Edinburgh Capitals. I would say they certainly did the first two periods put great effort into the game. The, the killer blow was the two early goals in, in the third period. And uh, it kind of knocked the stuffing out the team a bit. But give them, give them the due, they did try very hard tonight. A good crowd here for them as well. And uh, the season is over. Well, we have, uh, while your cameras are on the Nottingham Panthers team, we'll keep our eyes on Kevin Forshaw and... Uh, See if there's any waterworks in there, uh, Pecker. I wouldn't think so. No, I must admit, it, uh, after my years as well, it, you know, you knew it was coming. It, uh, it certainly wasn't tears, but maybe, maybe you're right. You could be right. Well, it's nice to see uh, Kevin Forshall getting uh, some excellent acclaim from uh, the Panthers players as yeah. well as he heads down the ice and um, it's been a long and illustrious career for uh, Kevin Forshaw 18 years with the same team here in Murrayfield uh, with Edinburgh Capitals between the SNL and the Elite League team and Pecker yeah. what has been a, a disappointing season for the Edinburgh Capitals 11 points from 56 games which is not good it's reading in any sense of, no. uh, of anything but uh, when you look at tonight's performance that's what we wanted all season is well, competitive hockey exactly two periods were, were superb absolutely superb and I say they just kind of lost their way early in the, the third period and the, the two the two killer goals I mean they were they were sort of what three two up and then three three four three game game over but uh, I hear some of the other players coming in nice now as well. Uh, David Clark uh, getting the applause of the Nottingham Panthers fans. When we look at the Nottingham Panthers tonight, I'm going to go for Jeff Brown. Two goals tonight. Would you agree? I, yeah, I think so. I think he, he, he was sort of hungry for that and then he was uh, obviously hungry for his hat trick as well. But uh, It is Jeff yeah, Brown that without a doubt, wins without the a man doubt. of the match. Yeah. yeah. And uh, a six-point weekend for the Nottingham yeah. Panthers uh, with a Scottish triple header. Yeah. And that's exactly what they needed. It's when you run into that stretch at the end of the season and get those points to uh, to propel you up the, up well, the league table. Yeah. They, they, they come up to Scotland with a mission and they've gone home with what they wanted. Well done, guys, and all the best for uh, the playoffs. We well, played well tonight and uh, it wasn't a dirty game by any means either. It was a, a, a tough game, but uh, certainly not a dirty game. Other than uh, the last closing stages of Cardiff Devils versus the Milton Keynes Lightning, the 2017-2018 season has finished. But 
First of all, we look at the Edinburgh Capitals and uh, your man of the match tonight? The goalkeeper. No, the, the, the Kevin Forshaw? No. <laughs> No. Jordan McLaughlin, I would yes. uh, tend to agree, yeah. but uh, Kevin Forshaw heads forward first to get a special presentation. Well, in fact, he'll head towards centre ice to take the applause of uh, the Edinburgh yeah. Capitals fans and the Nottingham Panthers fans as well. I hope he turns to the Nottingham fans as well. I think the fans have been very... I hope he turns round now. Uh, because the Nottingham fans have been very grateful in their... Uh, yeah. Ah. He's uh, not the most emotional of, of, of guys, but he's, he's certainly... You can see in there that uh, it's starting to come to him now. Yeah. It's Einar Podzins yeah, that wins yeah. man of the match tonight. Two goals tonight again, like yep. Jeff Brown for the Nottingham Panthers. Podzins came in uh, earlier on in the, the year and uh, certainly impressed in the last few weeks. Oh, definitely. Looked at looked at, looked a capture that the, if they can keep him for next season. Uh, definitely. That, um, well, Pecker as the Edinburgh Capitals players come to um, the centre ice to take the applause. Pecker. As I say, it's been a, a difficult season, but we'll yeah. look forward to next one. Oh, absolutely. Can't wait already, to be honest with you, and see what happens in, in Murrayfield for next year. For the Edinburgh Capitals players, and cheerleaders coming on to the ice to uh, get their picture taken in front of the fans here. And it's... It's been a long one, Becker, oh, but we've been, made it to the end. But I'm glad we've made it to the end, but uh, it's been a hard one at times, really, for you and I to uh, to stand here and try and give some positives in some of the games. And other games have been very good. I mean, tonight, for what two periods, they, they really played very well. The two early goals, and, and after that, really, it kind of killed them a bit. But the fans have been very loyal to them tonight as well. I thought there'd be hardly anybody here. There's been a reasonable turnout tonight. And uh, we'll just see what happens uh, next season. Well, Pecker, we uh, thank everyone that has watched the webcast this season with uh, us here at Caps TV Live. And it's been a, a good one with improvements week on week here in the webcast. That's been uh, thanks to... Uh, both Mark on the camera and Aaron that we've brought in to yep. uh, be the producer and uh, we send our thanks to them Absolutely and everyone indeed. that's uh, joined us on Caps TV. From everyone here at Caps TV, we'll leave you with the third period highlights as we uh, enjoy our golfing season. Yep. Exactly. Thank you and good Cheers. night. Well done.